They brought him to the place called Golgotha, which means place of a skull, and they crucified him and divided his garments among them, casting lots for them to decide what each should take. It was the third hour when they crucified him. The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews. And with him they crucified two robbers, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by derided him, wagging their heads and saying, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself and come down from the cross. So also the chief priests with the scribes mocked him, saying, he saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross that we may see and believe. And when the sixth hour had come, there was a darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus uttered a loud cry and breathed his last. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. And when the centurion who stood facing him saw that in this way he breathed his last, he said, truly this man was the son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance, among whom were Mary Magdalene and Mary, mother of James the Younger, and of Joseph and Salome. When he was in Galilee, they followed him and ministered to him. And there were also many other women who came up with him to Jerusalem. Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was also himself looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Joseph bought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the shroud, and laid him in a tomb that had been cut out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the entrance of the tomb. Yeah.